Hey everyone, this is Vincent Wynn for SlashPhone and Slasher.com and I have with me today the Samsung Wave. The Wave uses Samsung's latest and greatest Super AMOLED display. It's 3.3 inch. As you can see, viewing it from all sorts of angle, it still looks great. There are three buttons on the front, a dedicated camera button, and a lock button. Both locate on the right hand side of the device. On top in the center is a 3.5mm headphone jack, speaker, and a micro USB plug-in. And it's got a nifty little cover that slides up and down to, uh, to cover it. On the back is a 5 megapixel camera with LED powered flash. Uh, the battery is user replaceable. One click down and the cover comes off easily. Wave is Samsung's first phone to have Bluetooth 3.0 and it is powered by a one gigahertz processor. So now let's walk through the BIA operating system. The first thing you'll see is Samsung's very own Wiz 3.0 that they've laid on top of BIA. So as you can see, I'm adding, subtracting widgets. There are six panels that you can uh, work with. And if you click the top, uh, center, you get this little drop down menu where you can select Wi Fi on off, Bluetooth silent, gives you different notifications, and whatnot. So you get the, the three preset keypad contacts and messages. Clicking the center button will bring up uh, all the apps and whatnot that you have on the wave. So let's get, let's do a quick walkthrough of the settings. Uh, connectivity, you have all sorts of options to pick from. Everything from connecting to the USB, uh, what you want, you know, how you want it to, to act uh, when you plug in. Um, this is the uh, brightness setting. As you can see, going down to one, it's still clear enough to see, and going up to ten, that's max. Let's take a look now at the about phone and go to system info. Battery is about 29%. I'm using about 1% of the CPU. And this is um, a task menu where you can in apps if you want to. Next thing I want to show you is Twitter, uh, since it is a phone geared towards social media people. Um, it's pretty bare bone. If you click on what's happening, um, this is to update your status. As you notice, there's no way to um, upload a picture or a video. Clicking on uh, my at win, you can kind of see people that have sent me direct um, messages. Now let's take a look at Facebook. Facebook is a little bit more uh, robust. As you can see, the lower left hand side there, it says you can upload a photo. Uh, I didn't see any way to um, upload videos yet. And this again, similar to Twitter, you can update your status. Go to profiles, you can be your friends. And if you want to manually refresh, you can do that as well by clicking the refresh button at, at the lower uh, bottom right. And upload or take a photo. In this case, I'm not going to do either, so I'm just going to cancel out. Different options, you can uh, you know, do settings, but there's nothing there as you can see. Um, let's get out of that and let's take a look at the, the feeds and update and whatnot. As you can see, that's a combination of Twitter feeds as well as my Facebook feed. Um, you can update status to both simultaneously if you wanted to, but in this case, as you can see, there's no way to upload videos or images anywhere, or there's not even an option to upload to um, TweetPic or, I mean, TweetPic or anything like that. Next thing we'll do is we'll look at the internet give you a quick idea of what it looks like to browse on an amazing Super AMOLED display. But let me warn you that um, with such a high resolution display on a smaller 3.3 inch uh, display, the text is going to be a lot smaller. It's going to be harder on the eyes to read. And unfortunately, the browser does not have a text reflow. So um, if you as you can see, if you zoom in, um, you're only going to see little bits of text. Um, copy and paste is relatively easy. You press and hold, and then it gives you this little bubble. You can slide around. 
copy text and whatnot. So flipping it into landscape mode, um, same thing, just a little bit wider. Unfortunately, um, again, uh, reading a text page, uh, reading an HTML page is going to be um, a challenge because everything is just super tiny. But it does look great though. Oh, by the way, that is the keyboard in landscape mode. It works relatively well. And I do like the fact that it doesn't bring up just a, a box. I mean, it, it keeps you in that same page that you were in unlike previous Samsung phones. So I'm gonna just jump over to our sister site, AndroidCommunity.com and kind of show you what it looks like. Again, as you can see, it's really hard on the eyes. I just wish that this was either three and a half inch or 3.7 or even the 4.0 inch, uh, similar to what is on the Galaxy S powered by Android. So kind of looking through, let's see what else I can show you. Um, how about a peek at YouTube? It's basically, uh, it's not really a native app, if you will. It's it's a web-based uh, version of YouTube. I'm gonna look for some videos that I've uploaded to Slash Gear account. And let's go with the first one here, unboxing iPod Touch. Once again, the resolution and quality is, you know, spectacular. Um, I think it's really good quality. You can either watch it in portrait mode or landscape mode. So I'll flip it over in a second here after I adjust the volume. It's rather loud. And you can see what it looks like in landscape mode. And as you can see, the Celerona kicks in. Full screen, looks really great. Um, I think it's locked. So let me click on the lock button. Press. I think I have to press and hold. Give me a second here. So, uh, there you go. Okay, now it's unlocked. Touch the screen. You can. Uh, what I really like is you can adjust the brightness while you're watching the video, so you don't have to get out and go to the settings or anything like that. You can set the color tone. Look at the details. Let's go back. So that's what YouTube looks like on the wave. Next thing we'll look at is the media browser. This is kind of cool. It gives you everything in either by day, by user, or whatnot. Um, we're going to give you a quick demo of a show, one of my favorite show. Uh, but here, look, you can see you can upload any videos to Photo Bucket. Uh, MySpace, Picasa, whatever, um, videos, images. You can see there, you can view all videos. Let's watch a quick clip of my new daughter, Allison, at the doctor's office. Uh, this was recorded using the, uh, the Wave. Yeah, that's it. As you can see, same in landscape and portrait mode. I'm using a 16 gig card, so it streams pretty fast. As you can see, this is a clip of house in portrait and landscape mode. Looks really great. As you can see, again, brightness, mosaic search, you can change your color tone, you can send it, you can upload to the web. volume is down to zero, but if I turn it up, it gets pretty loud. And it's all coming from that single speaker. So the next thing we'll look at is the social hub. As you can see, these are all my accounts. And let's check out the games. Um, this is one example by Gameloft, um, Asphalt. Give it a second to load up. Oh, 
Ah, touch screen to continue. Yes, give me a second. There we go. So as you can see, the graphics is pretty amazing. Uh, it does vibrate, gives you really good feedback. So let's take the um, let's take this car out for a spin here. As you can see, the rendering is just simply amazing. And the gas pedal is on the lower left, and that's the uh, nitro. Gives you an extra boost. That's the pause button. You can go into options, set different camera views, audio, and then resume. Oops. Oh, too late there on the brakes. So that's a quick uh, demo of what games look like on the Wave. Show you a quick view of what um, the file structure looks like. File menu. You can do all vi files and whatnot, or memory card, or just what's on the phone itself. And this is music. You've got playlists, album, quick lists, all tracks. You can also Add to quick list if you wanted to, share via, set as, add to playlist, find something similar to it, go to library, lots and lots of options for you to, um, to pick from. It's almost um, as good as a, any uh, MP3 player out there. And it even does music recognition, as you can see there. So I'm going back to the playlist. I don't have a whole lot of music loaded up, so apologies. I think the next thing we'll look at is the notification bar. As you can see, I have up there Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, silent, and of course the, the music uh, bar there for easy access. And then all my emails, exchange, text, whatever. And if I want to, I can clear all of them at the same time. So if I turn the, the wave off, you can see it tells me I have 35 new emails. And if I slide it in, it'll bring the email up for me. So that's really cool. And as you can see at the top, if I click on the little C there, it brings up uh, the controls for, for um, the audio. Let's see. Next thing I want to show you is what uh, navigation looks like on the wave. You can see it comes up pretty quickly. You can uh, download more content off of Route 66 website, um, do routing and whatnot. Of course, it does need an internet connection. And since I don't have anything, it's going to ask me to uh, go download. So Let's see, roadmap. Let's see if I have anything in there. Nope. It tells me I need to connect to the PC and go download it and stuff. So that's kind of annoying that I can't just download it over the air or get an update over the air. So panning around, zooming, pinch, zoom. I mean, it looks pretty good. I almost think that I prefer Google Maps over this. I, that's just my personal opinion. Um, more points of interest stuff that you can select. Um, interestingly, I'm going to look at around GPS and no search result. That's weird. Let's try something else. Hmm. All right. We won't be playing with that anytime soon until I get some stuff downloaded. Selecting from routes. I have nothing. Um, these are shortcuts. Why doesn't it let me select it? Not sure, but let's go back. 
Let's get out of there. Smart search. This, you can either search your phone or the internet. Um, you can either use Google, Bing, or whatnot, or even Twitter there. You have FM radio, voice recorder. Next thing you're gonna look at is the 5 megapixel camera, which amazingly has a LED powered flash. Put that down for a second, let me grab a phone as a subject of uh, the recording and taking pictures. So let's head back. I'm in, uh, I believe in recording mode right now. As you can see, it looks really great. Give you a quick sample of what it looks like on the other end. Can't go wrong carrying the wave around if, uh, you know, taking quick videos of your kids, product shots or whatever, um, and then you'll be able to upload directly to YouTube if that's something you want to do. That is it for this uh, demo of the Samsung Wave powered by Bada operating system. Make sure to check slashgear.com for my full review of the Samsung Wave. And thanks for watching.